This was a really nice movie. Yeah, it was a nice movie. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I'm not damning it with any praise we saying that to you. It was a genuinely an enjoyable film. Hi, everyone. <laughs> it's me, Grant, the movie MTV guy. Hello. Welcome to Raising Popcorn with Grant, everybody. Um, a little late for this review. I apologize. Like, same with the Gray Man review. It's been a busy, busy, busy weekend. Um, so, uh, that just ended, but we're here. Um, we're here to talk about a movie. Movies and TV, that's what we do here. And today we're talking about Anything's Possible. Uh, Anything's Possible, uh, originally titled What If, is uh, directed by Billy Porter. Uh, that's right, that Billy Porter. Uh, it's his first film as a director. Um, he, of course, is a phenomenal actor. And uh, the film tells the story of a young woman who is trans. Uh, big, big, uh, a lot of representation uh, in this film. She's played by Eva Rain, who is from St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, that's awesome. I'm also from St. Louis, Missouri. That's rad. Um, she plays Kelsa. She is um, a high schooler who um, has a very supportive mom, played by Renee Elise Goldsberry. I said it right this time. Uh, uh, who's, of course, terrific in Hamilton, as well as in... Uh, Girls 5 Eva, which if you've not seen that, that show's great. I hope it gets a third season. It's really funny. Um, she plays her mother, who's incredibly supportive, um, but she doesn't seem to always have extremely great communication. She's a little overprotective. And she does videos, um, essentially charting her journey through um, her transition. We, um, we then meet um, our young hero. He's Kal. He's played by... I am going, I'm sorry, I'm going to mispronounce your name, sir. I apologize. Abubakar, uh, Abubakar Ali, I believe that's how you pronounce it, um, who, he's terrific in the film. Um, he is um, a high schooler who's dealing with pressures, for instance, um, a very bigoted best friend, but he comes to like Kelsa and he wants to ask her out. Um, but there's other drama going on. Um, one of Kelsa's friends also has eyes for Cal. And uh, that leads to some drama. And uh, will the relationship survive? Anything's possible, um, as the title implies. And uh, sparks soon fly between these two young people. So, um, there's not a lot to say about this one other than I really enjoyed this movie. Um, it is completely... It, it is, um, outside of um, the, story, the actual storytelling itself... Let me put it this way. This movie does for um, trans individuals trans men and women what love simon did for um lgbtq representation um in its corner of the spectrum um and fire island as well it it is a standard romantic comedy in every way but the representation of the main character but at the same time like love simon and like fire island the movie doesn't stop to have any kind of... It, it's just... It, it's what it is that the character is trans, and I think that's wonderful. Um, there's not a lot of... The reality is in the movie for sure, but it doesn't treat it like... She's... It, it doesn't... How do I put this? It doesn't treat it like... Every, being in this position and uh, being trans... Is a miserable experience, which I feel like some pe some movies portray it as, because it isn't. I mean, they're people, just like everyone else. You know, met they're men and they're women. It's the way it is. Um, and anyone who tells you otherwise is a bigoted asshole. So, I like that the relationship feels real. It's really sweet. There's that element of between the two of them of kind of awkward shyness, which comes with being you know the a, a, among the best teenage love stories. Someone said it's very John Hughesy, much like Love Simon was, and I agree. Um, and I really liked it. Um, I liked the two leads. Um, Eva Rain is, in particular, uh, she's phenomenal in the film. Um, it's nice seeing even more talent come out of my hometown. That's really great. Um, and there's not much more to say about this. This is a charming movie. And uh, I'm not going to go all the way with it, but I'm going to go pretty far. I really love this film. Also, another thing I need to, I need to mention before we go. 
there is a speech by um, Renee Elise Goldsberry's character toward the end that is genuinely moving, and it's, I think, the scene that makes up this a little bit higher. I think this is a four-star movie that is brought up to a little higher by scenes like that, those isolated moments of genuine, like, real, that break the, the formulaic structure. Um, and that's why I'm going to give Anything's Possible. Yeah, let's close the book there. I'm going to give Anything's Possible four and a half out of five stars. This is a really, really, really touching movie, and also a genuinely funny movie. It, it, it's, it genuinely, there's some, um, one thing that Billy Porter does really great as a director is he, he often employs cutaway humor, which can be a little bit iffy sometimes, but in this case, the things he's cutting away to are genuinely funny, so you don't mind it. Um, like, for instance, um, there's a part where the lead character is talking about how in her, I, I, I love my friend, but she's a little bit intense. <laughs> it comes to her, like, <laughs> with a mask on, firing paintballs at, like, a guy who dumps her. And it, that's genuinely funny. Um, yeah, you know, so, you know, it's a, it was a cute movie. Uh, it was a cute movie. And I'll say this, compared to direct, like, My Fake Boyfriend, this is way more like it. This is a way better movie than that. So, yeah, go check it out. It's a good one. Um... Trailer Trash, none. I watch it on uh, Prime Video, which is where it's on. Um, it was, I think, MGM, but it was picked up by Amazon, because I think Amazon owns MGM now. Um, and was there Sharma? Yeah, there was a really fun uh, song and dance number at the end. Um, worth sticking around for. Um, there's nothing after. All right. We will be back later on in the week um, to talk about um, some new movies we have coming up, um, one of which I'm very, very excited about. We have DC League of Super Pets, Not Okay, and Honor Society. We will also have a possibly have a review of Vengeance. If not, that'll be one we'll catch up with. Speaking of catching up, though, um, our theater's finally getting Marcel the Shell with Shoes on this weekend. Um, I'm seeing that Thursday, so you're going to get a review of that and DC League of Super Pets on Thursday for sure. So be on the lookout for that. Um, that'll all be next time. And until next time... I'm Grant, the movie and TV guy. I see it all, and I'm happy to share it with you. Uh, I love you all. I appreciate you all. I love you all classes missed. I love you 3,000. Be kind to one another. Uh, if you like this video, give it a like if you want to. Give it a subscribe if you want to. Give it the bell. I don't know what it does, but that's what you're supposed to do, or so I've been told. If you want to find me elsewhere, reviews this and other fun stuff, you can check me out on Letterboxd.com at Raised on Popcorn with Grant. Also, we have a Facebook page. Check us out. Um, go to Facebook.com and type in Raised on Popcorn with Grant. That's where you'll find me. Um, you can also uh, check out my podcast, uh, Raising Proper Grant the Podcast, which posts videos every month on Spotify and or uh, episodes rather. Um, I'm sorry, on Spotify and Anchor. Uh, so if you already have, but even if you haven't, take care of yourself. Take care of your mental health. Sorry if I'm tripping over my words or over explaining things lately. It, it's been kind of a, a go 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 time for for the Grant man lately. <laughs> sorry about that. I'm a little bit frazzled. Um, but, all that being said, yeah, I still already have, but even if you haven't, uh, take care of yourself, take care of your mental health, it's incredibly important. I want to know down below, what did you think of Anything's Possible? Did you like the movie? Did you hate the movie? Yeah. There's nothing to hate, but this is a very likable movie. But anyway, did you hate the movie? Um, think my opinion's good? Think I'm full of shit? Comment below, let me know. And until we meet again, we were all raised on popcorn, make mine with extra butter. Catch you guys next time. Happy Pride, not just this month. Every month, every day. Happy Pride. And uh, take care. See you next one. Bye.